More than a year after the Bank of Ghana revoked the operating licenses of 347 microfinance companies and 23 savings and loans and finance house companies, the receiver has been working at winding the companies down and taking steps to maximize their asset realizations for the benefit of creditors, including depositors. The receiver has throughout this period also lamented the difficulty in securing the books and records of some of the companies, both manual and electronic. According to Eric Nananipa, there are currently 30 five resolved companies out of the total of 370 with depositor claims worth approximately 252 million Ghana cities with no books or records to allow for validation and settlement of claims. But in a reaction to the receiver's pronouncement, some customers of Man Capital, one of the 35 companies referenced by the receiver, have asked him to be more forceful in securing the records and books of the affected companies. The Dr. Adam Susu is a disgruntled client of Man Capital. The company sources told us that they went forward to meet the receiver and said, we have another server in one of our other branches of which you, the receiver, you have the keys. So if you want the information that you are looking for, the most updated list, you can get it in this branch. Just make yourself available. Get somebody to join us and we'll open up the place for you to get the information that you want. And unfortunately, since then, the receiver has not gotten back to them. And as we kept on piling pressure on the company, then they started revealing these things to us that it is not as we, we see it um, say on the air. So the information is available. Is the, If the receiver needs help, they are available. They are ready to provide the information for man capital clients. Yet the receiver is not forthcoming. We think that the, the receiver is not going all out because... Probably there are some liabilities the receiver may not want to absorb, but um, per the letter of contract or letter that put them together, they, 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 um, everything, liabilities, assets are all part of their work. Charlene Lamte, also a customer of the defunct company, lamented the impact of the situation on depositors. Some of us work in the private school sector, and as you know, with this COVID thing, we've not been at work since maybe mid-March. So, you know, uh, the business isn't going too well. The parents are also struggling. You can't get blood out of a stone. So it's made things a bit difficult. So had we received our money like we were told government was going to pay, I think that would have eased the burden on us. But now it's like we didn't get that. Things are not going well. So it's a bit difficult, and as time goes on, it gets worse. That's in my personal case. We, we just want to appeal to the receiver to go and get the information because we've been informed it's there. So uh, if they can get it and then process our claims, we will be so glad. Already, the receiver has announced that about 96% of those who are owed have already been paid. According to him, the work done so far shows that the total value of valid claims is 5.4 billion Ghana CDs. Mr. Nananipa added that about 98% of the claims will be paid in cash, while the remaining 2% will be paid through a combination of cash and bonds. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the Business Dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.